Hi, <clears throat> and welcome to this brief presentation on TAD Hack 2021 and what's uh, in it for students at Valencia. My name is Jerry Reed, and uh, I'll be telling you about it and uh, participated in a lot of past TAD Hacks, and I think you'll find it uh, a lot of fun. TAD Hack this year will be held in Orlando, obviously, on the Valencia College West Campus in Building 7, probably in a classroom that you've been in before on September 25th and September 26th. <clears throat> well, what is TADHAC? TAD stands for Telecommunications Application Development. That has to do with software that controls various forms of telecommunications programmatically. We'll go into that a bit more with some examples in a minute. And HAC stands for, well, hacking in the, in the best white hats, white hat sense of the word, where you're uh, creatively coding something and, and, and putting together a prototype. TAD Hack is a regular hackathon event. Uh, it's been going on for many years, including a number of years at Valencia, and it has a global reach via the ability of people to participate uh, from the internet, along with the local presence via hosting at Valencia and other locations. The goal is for you as a team member or solo to plan, code, and demonstrate a prototype application that incorporates one or more elements of the sponsor's technology. And we'll look at those technologies in just a minute, but they all revolve around telecommunications broadly construed. That's how you can win prizes. If your hack is chosen and it incorporates technology from one of the vendors, then of course you're eligible potentially for a prize a cash prize or other prizes, <clears throat> and of course, fame and fortune. Prizes aside though, there are many great benefits from participating in TAD Hack. First of all, and first and foremost, it's fun. There's people to meet, there's new tech to be learned for all of us, and there's free food. Our organizer, Alan Quayle, is a fantastic person, and he's very supportive of students. Uh, he's always been really gone out of his way to help students out in the TAD Hack. TAD Hack is a chance to network and maybe uh, meet other developers and maybe even work on a team, not only with other students, which of course you can do, but with community members or professional developers from all over the world. So that's really a great opportunity. It's also an opportunity to work on a project that showcases your skills and could make a great example for your GitHub or your resume. If you've got a creative app idea, this might be your chance to go for it. It's also a chance to learn about contemporary trends in communication software development. Learn about the new uh, things that are available, and that includes uh, AI and all kinds of messaging and voice and video <clears throat> streaming services that are available programmatically from the sponsors of this event. And of course, it's fun. I mean, I guess I said that already, but when you look at some of the videos from past Valencia students and faculty uh, who were winners, I think you'll agree in just a minute, I think you'll agree that everyone seems to be having a lot of fun. So <clears throat> how do I get ready for TAD Hack? Well, first of all, you should browse to the TAD Hack website at the URL tadhack.com 2021 hashtag sponsors and click on each developer resource. Now, these are the, what the, the, the sponsors provide to enable you to use their technology. So uh, we'll take a look at that in just a second. Matter of fact, let's take a couple, look at just a couple uh, right now. This is, um, I went to the webpage for TADHack Global uh, 2021 and I scrolled down to look at the sponsors for this event. And let's just look at a couple of their offerings and see what it is that they actually, uh, what, what their technology actually is. Symbol.ai, as the name AI suggests, looks like a vendor who offers uh, interactive uh, speech recognition and response, um, kind of like what you may have uh, uh, used actually if you've interacted with these uh, user agents in uh, um, maybe tech support settings. So they have a video and obviously they use, they provide a service that enables you to use artificial intelligence to recognize what people are talking about and make intelligent responses. And that would be, that's what your app could do. Uh, to look at another one, we could also look at, um, uh, let's look at Tol, um, Tolinix, I think is one to look at. Linux offers this kind of standard 
programmable telecommunications APIs. They offer messaging. That means your program, your application, whether it's a mobile app or a web app, can send messages programmatically by SMS and, and MMS to phones. Um, you can uh, use phone numbers. That's kind of like Google Voice, I think. Um, call control enables you to actually place calls programmatically from your program. And um, I'm not really clear on what SIP trunking is. Uh, it's a voice and data communications technology. If we look at um, subspace, I think <coughs> subspace is interesting. Subspace provides uh, internet connectivity, but they specialize in sort of high performance real time stuff. And one thing I thought you might be, one application I thought you might be interested in is um, they offer APIs related to conveying game data uh, in a timely fashion across the web. And there's a couple of videos on this if you want to watch it. And basically, the um, they they talk about the um, uh, lag and dealing with lag and and all kinds of stuff. So maybe you can come up with a game app that leverages this technology. That might be really fun. So that's just a couple of examples of the tech that the vendors offer. To use that technology, you have to read the material they provide on their website and see what it's all about. Uh, they, of course, sell these services, but they're free to you during the hackathon. They'll give you free accounts and, and free support. And they'll also spend some time at the beginning of Tad Hack. Uh, the vendors will be there, and they'll have a representative there explaining their tech in, in greater detail. If you want to see what's happened in the past to get a better concrete example of uh, what kind of hacks have been produced by some Valencia students, um, let's look at this YouTube playlist. And if you go to this list, you'll see um, videos of the winners from 2019, which was the last face-to-face -face TAD hack before this one. Um, and you might even recognize some of the people um, in these videos. So take a look at the videos, see what they actually produced, see the kind of stuff they did. That's going to give you a lot better feeling for what you need to do. So... That's the quick introduction. If you want more information and you want to coordinate with other students or with the faculty, join our Slack channel, which is the URL is there. And we have a special channel just for Tad Hack 2021. So you can uh, meet with other interested folks there. Feel free to hit me, Cherry Reed, or Professor Eno Tool up with questions either in the Slack or via email. And of course, I will actually be there at Tad Hack, and I look forward to supporting and working with you all. So um, again, keep those questions coming in, join that uh, Slack channel, and we hope to talk to you later. Thanks a lot.